hi guys and welcome back to my channel it feels weird to be filming because i have not done this in ages um i really really set out with the goal to film a lot during january and the january was just so busy that it all just fell apart so we're back we're making content i planned some really cool recipe videos for you guys um so let me know down below actually if you'd like any specific recipes i've picked out sort of ones i've been asked for the most on instagram um but yes i'm back and i'm making content and today um i'm going to be talking about my top tips for becoming vegan so this video is sponsored very kindly by vegans and i'll talk about them a little bit later on in the video but they are a vegan vitamin company and they fall into one of my top tips anyway let's go in i've got my little trusty and notebook here um so that i can remember what i'm talking about but first of all my number one top tip is veganize meals you like so i find so so often with um vegan meals that people think oh my god what am i gonna eat is it just gonna be like falafel hummus i do think this has changed a lot as the vegan sort of landscape has and there's so many more options in supermarkets but I think you need to shift your mindset of thinking what is vegan that I can eat and change it to what do I love and how do I make it vegan so for me my favorite meals were carbonara so I now make a mushroom carbonara and I probably have it once a week every other week like it's a real staple in our house I love curries I love chilies and everything like that I just took my favorite meals and i made them vegan and i think that makes the world of difference because you don't feel like you're missing out then you are literally still enjoying everything you like before and you're doing it vegan so it kind of takes away that restrictive element of oh i can't eat this because i'm vegan and i think sort of if diet culture and everything like that has taught us anything it's that if you restrict yourself you're gonna want it more and veganism shouldn't be like that really in my opinion it should be something that you really really love doing so get creative in the kitchen if you want a chili take some vegan mints and cook it exactly how you would before first time around just cook it everything how you would just sub out the non-vegan items and see what you think and you can make tweaks from there but that would be always my starting place um so if i was going vegan now what i would do is take five meals maybe that i liked and i'd go right let's focus on getting these down as recipes let's veganize them and let's get these working amazingly and i think once you've got that you kind of have a staple and then you can start experimenting more top tip number two is don't be too hard on yourself um i think you have to realize that it's a big change and i think everyone's journey will look different um and you should literally just take it as it comes if the best you can do to begin with is a couple of meals a week and you build it up brilliant and i think you need to realize like where am i going to struggle like for me personally dairy wasn't the struggle um because i i had come to terms with the fact i was lactose intolerant so i was already gonna have a problem with that so for me that wasn't the struggle area but i know for a lot of people things like cheese are really difficult so i would always say like i have this like 90 percent rule that i say to people when they're first transitioning change 90 percent of what you can and most people will have 90 percent of things that don't matter to them so leave the 10 percent that's difficult if you can get the 90 percent down then after that you can work on what's left so if it's cheese you then start slowly summing out things you work on cashew cheese sauces you try different vegan cheeses you see what you like and then you're only working hard on that little 10 percent rather than like it all being so bombarding but also if you're struggling with the 90 percent off the bat you then go okay well i take it down to 80 because everyone who is transitioning to vegan will struggle will find it difficult and will struggle in different ways from each other so i think as long as you're not too hard on yourself and you know your end goal it's just about getting there and that will look different for everyone in my opinion um there are people who can do it overnight and that is great like power to them like amazing but i'm also really aware that other people can't so don't feel that pressure just do you do what you enjoy and you will get there. Top tip number three. And this is where our sponsor comes in. So 
this is the little vegans packet but my top tip number three is when you start off get some vegan vitamins um i do believe fully that you can get pretty much what you need from a vegan diet if you really really know what you're doing um you can find things like b12 in fortified milks vegan milks obviously marmite um nutritional yeast stuff like that but i think when you're first starting out and you don't know you're like you're changing so much you don't need to worry about it so something like v gums is just perfect in my opinion i have been using them and working with them well, i've been working with them maybe like six months but i've been using them much longer than that um it's a brand i really 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 believe in and it's changed how i look at vegan vitamins because beforehand I kind of was a bit like, I think I can get a lot and you can, but this has just made it so much easier for me. So I cannot recommend them more and I'm a massive, massive fan of the brand. So when you first join, you can get a little starter kit, which comes with the tin, um, which is great. And what they are, let me show you, are little vegan gummy bears, like so. Is the camera picking that up? Um, and these are... I'm just, I haven't had mine today. These are strawberry flavoured vegan vitamins and they taste actually delicious. Like my boyfriend is obsessed with them, not because they're vitamins, but because they taste great. So the dosage for an adult is two a day and you just take them really simple and you know you're getting everything you need, which I just think is an amazing peace of mind um so yeah it's why they're collaborating with me on instagram you see me talking about them quite a lot but also why they're the sponsor of this video um they're also doing something really really exciting so these are your regular vitamins but they are bringing out the vegan omega freeze and i cannot wait um they've been working on them for a while and i just i'm so excited to see what they taste like and what impact they have so it's something I really can get behind. And what I will do, I'll pop their details in the little box below. Um, but I also, um, they're doing a crowdfunding link. So I'll pop that below. And that's just to help them get, um, obviously some funding to expand and to do lots of fun new stuff. And they're just a really great company. So I'll pop their links down below, check them out. Um, but yeah, top tip number three, vitamins. Top tip number four are we on number four um is join the community um for me instagram was always the place that really really mattered to me in terms of helping my journey um i saw so much inspiration from there and this was before i had sort of a vegan instagram account and it's what really led to me creating one because i wanted a place to share my own stuff for me but also seek inspiration from others and somehow it grew <laughs> into what it is which i'm very very thankful for but what i think is really amazing is wherever your platform is whether it's friends cookbooks online like youtube like wherever source and join the community um there's some great groups on facebook um vegan food uk and vegan uk are a couple that i am in um but also like instagram obviously <laughs> i share a lot on there and i think what you can find is you can literally the vegan community community on instagram is massive so you can source recipes ideas and also inspiration not only to what you eat but being part of this vegan lifestyle and i think it really really motivates you to carry on so what i would do is um i just recommend you go find a few people you like i mean follow me if you'd like to <laughs> um but i'll pop myself in i put my little instagram details below um but i'll also pop in some of my favorite instagrammers in there um that are vegan so you can have a look as well but it's just a really great place for me but find your own but just in some way join the community and keep inspiring each other because the more people in the movement and the more positivity in the movement which is something isn't always there um the better it's going to be top tip number five i don't know why i do numbers because i can never remember which one i'm on but anyway this is experiment so when i first went vegan you do like you did not have the options that are available now at all like 
you would go to a supermarket and you'd have like your Linda McCartney sausages and you'd have your Linda McCartney range but a lot of them weren't vegan and there just wasn't very much that you could really have. I used to, so I live in Bournemouth and I used to drive to Southampton to the nearest like vegan supermarket and be able to get my like substitutes there. It wasn't how it is now. But what's great about going vegan in 2020 is the options are astounding. You can literally go to any supermarket and get so much vegan stuff. So what you need to do is find things that you like experiment with milks you know I have my favorites and they're different for what I'm drinking like normally I like almond milk but oat milk is my favorite if it's in coffee like you need to find those things you like so take time experimenting and trying new things and you will like some of them some people like the really really meaty alternatives some people like the ones that taste more like veggies some people don't like them at all like you will find what you like but you have to take that time to find them and it's such an exciting landscape the vegan community lifestyle here in UK, in the uk like there's so much stuff now so just really make sure you have a go at everything find out what you like find out what you love and it will only make your vegan transition easier and my final tip is just enjoy it um don't like I say, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Enjoy looking at new recipes. Enjoy having this lifestyle that just fits better with your ethics, um, that makes you feel better and just really love it. I mean, for me, veganism is the best thing that I have ever done. It's completely transformed my life. It's transformed where I work, how I feel, how I approach relationships. Like, everything in my life has some connection to veganism because it's just changed who I am as a person it's changed my ethical perspective and I just think that's so wonderful that just enjoy it enjoy transitioning enjoy learning enjoy experimenting with different foods like and you will just have a great time um if you ever ever get stuck my dms are always open on instagram it may take me a while to respond because I get quite a few but I will always reply to people who are transitioning um, and who want tips because I'm just here to help and I really want people to love it as much as I do because to me this is like I'm over five years in now and I just can't imagine life any other way. Um, but yeah, they are my top tips for being vegan. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a little thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe. And a massive thank you again to Vegums for sponsoring the video. And I will see you in the next one.